This video will show you how to self-enroll on a web courses module. As of September 2016, all students new and current will be required to self-enroll on all web courses modules. Self-enroll is only possible under the following conditions. You must have a valid web courses account, the module must be available, the module must have self-enroll activated. Please contact your lecturer for support. First, you will need to log in. To do this, go to www.dit.ie. This is DIT's main website. On this page, scroll to the bottom and under Online Services, select Web Courses. On the next page that loads, select the relevant link. Save or bookmark this page for quicker access in the future. When you click on this link, you will be brought to the main Login to DIT Services page. Your username is your student number and the password you use is the password you use for your student email. If you have any password issues, go to mypassword.dit.ie to resolve them. When you log in, you are brought to the main web courses homepage. Here you can see in the example that the module list is empty. Once you have enrolled on modules, they will appear here. To search for a module, we need to use the module search option to the left of the screen. Type in the module ID of the module you wish to enroll on. The module ID will be given to you by your lecturer. Press go to search. The next page that loads is the browse module catalog. Before your module loads, you need to change one more setting. Instead of name beside module, you need to select ID as you are searching using the ID. Press go and at the bottom of the page your module information will appear. Module ID will be on the left hand side and the module name will be on the right. To enroll use the action button beside the module ID. This is the grey circle with the downwards arrow. Click on this button and the pop-up window will give you an option to enroll. Select Enroll and you will be brought to the self-enrollment page. This page is confirming that you wish to enroll in Module Example, which is the module name, and Module ID, which is the information underneath in brackets. The Access Code option at the bottom of the page is a setting some lecturers may choose not to use. If it is not on your screen, it is not relevant to you. However, if it is on your screen, you need to input the access code your lecturer gave to you. Click Submit and you will be brought to the self-enrollment page. Here we can see it says Action Successful Success. Enrollment in Module Example is the module name and Module ID is in brackets. When you are finished, click OK and you will be brought to the module. For new users, this is where your web course's module information is placed by your lecturer. This can be anything from class notes to assignments and more. Please contact your lecturer for more information. To return to the main web courses page, click on My Web Courses. And now we can see in the module list that I am enrolled on one module. Module ID is the first piece of information and the module name is here as module example. To repeat this process as you are required to self-enroll on all of your modules, please use the module search option as before. When finished, log out of web courses by using the log out button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Please ensure that you shut down your browser in order to completely log off DIT applications. If you do not close down your browser, you may not be fully logged out of web courses. To close your browser, click on the name of the browser and choose quit at the bottom of the menu. This video showed you how to self enroll on a web courses module. Your lecturer will provide you with a module ID and access key if required. Please repeat the process to self-enroll on all modules and please contact your lecturer for support.